Hello and welcome back to Macedonian Restoration episode 7. So what we've done here, previous episodes, we besieged Athens here with Gonatas himself. We also defeated, we had a Pyrrhic victory over this small uh, Greek force. We had our general here managing, just about managing to defeat them, but losing half of his force in, uh, in the process. We also defeated a uh, Ptolemaic navy here, supporting our uh, Seleucid allies in this naval battle. So we won that, and now our navy is also brought around to uh, besiege Athens to help us in this siege. So this is the last stronghold in the parts of Greece that we're interested in for our uh, playthrough here. So what I'd like us to do next is to decide whether we should attack this force, this remaining force that we previously defeated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dispatch all these massively understrength units back to Demetrius for replenishment because we have a bit of an issue here now with the public order now that the main army is away and with the remaining force I'm going to try and attack them I'm going to auto resolve this let's have a look there's no point fighting it so we lost 21 men Antigonus didn't lose anyone which is great and they lost 68 okay hopefully Ty also gained one experience which isn't too bad that's good let's see all right and we captured some of their men the rejected ransom this time okay so what do they have left okay they still have this epilectoi uh, which is elite phalanx we still have spartans 19 of them and some of this uh, uh, javelineers sorry okay that's not too bad so we're going to keep him here he can't move anymore anyway and let's see yes i think we're just going to now end the turn and see we're besieging athens and yeah our uh, fleet is also blockading i'm not sure what effect it actually has i hope it speeds things up but i don't remember does it like influence the attrition does this happen quicker because it's not going to fall any sooner than eight seasons i do know that but what kind of effect would this naval blockade have if you do know please do let me know i do not quite know that uh, okay, let's see. So we're trying to also rebuild walls here in Sparta and we're also retraining some men somewhere. I can't recall now. Oh, yes, here in Corinthus because we we here have as well as well a bit of a public um, public order issue. We're going to try and bring the taxes slightly higher as well as here because, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this will give us a bit of a boost we're retraining here as well we do need the money we do need a lot of money projected treasury uh, 1699 we need much more than that if we are to rebuild all of this this is 8400 12000 etc etc and in Demetrius where is it okay so we had to bring the taxes down somewhat okay so we're going to yeah i think we're done here we're also moving diplomat here to hopefully reach epirots here i would like to ceasefire with them there's absolutely no need for us to remain hostile because i don't have any claim to their territory at all so as long as alexander uh, alexander uh, the second is happy so long he's happy i'm very keen to just conclude peace with them here okay so let's end the turn and see what's going to happen here okay so here we are we still have some colonists that we can dispatch don't have any money unfortunately at all let's have a look if there's anything that concerns our affairs uh, in greece okay aristotimos recently appointed pro macedonian tyrant of ellis ellis is an area here in peloponnesus sorry just around this area where uh, zeus is um uh, commits several atrocities that led to his assassination and his daughters are forced to commit suicide uh, Aratos of Sicyon is born now Antigonus Ganatas permanently is re-established as king of Macedonia and pro-Macedonian tyrannies are established in Peloponnesus though Aristotimus was quickly overthrown as the pro-Macedonian tyrant of Elis in part due to Aetolian help. Yes, this is what we read here. Aetolia is a leak up north here, just across this Gulf of Corinth here. Uh, so this year, Antigonus, the, in 271, he's meant to re-establish his control. I'm not sure we're going to quite, you know, fit in there within this year because we have several turns 
until the Athens going to surrender. I'm not going to assault them. I have no troops to assault them with to begin with. So we're going to wait there and see uh, what's going to happen there. Okay, but this is the year because he ruled from 277 when uh, Seleucids abandoned their claim because he married uh, the half sister of uh, Antiochus, of course. So he ruled uh, up until uh, Pyrrhus has returned, of course, in 274, and then he got some uh, Ptolemaic Egyptian money and started to cause trouble uh, in Macedonia and driven Antigonus. Uh, away from most of the territory. Now in 272, Pyrrhus is dead and Antigonus in 271, he of course re-established himself in Macedonia firmly. Now let's have... Okay, all right, okay. Now, we have an issue here. So Athenians now, being besieged that they as they are, they recruited local levies to reinforce them. This is excellent, actually. This is like a scripted work. However, it makes our life very, very difficult because we are, oh, and this stuck here, this small army. I was also concerned that they would recruit mercenaries and they have. This is one of the reasons. Uh, yes, so they have recruited several mercenary units because they do have a lot of money. Okay, what else? Impella, we have repaired the walls in Sparta as well. Now we need to urgently, urgently reinforce we need to reinforce uh, Antigonus here because if we do not, unfortunately, what may happen is, uh, okay, let's give him this unit of slingers. What may happen is this uh, troop will sally. This gentleman here may recruit more mercenaries still, and then we're going to be in trouble. Let's see if we can. Okay, I'm going to give him some of these men here, and then here I will bring taxes back down. I will try and retrain what I can because we really really need we really really need now to uh, reinforce him a little bit because if he does not oh, I don't have the money to, re to retrain anywhere or do anything else if he does not um, basically get reinforced proper here then we might get beaten back by these units here by this Greek army because they have some very solid uh, hoplites here as a faction uh, members faction family members okay let's give him let's see what else can we do let's bring all of these men actually uh, for a retraining here can we retrain anyone else no we cannot what we can do is recruit a unit of archers which I think I'm inclined to do because I might need uh, to move some of these men to support Antigonus now Oh, but I will move this unit here, so we still have a room for one more. We cannot bring... Okay, let's bring the Galatians here, just in case they sally. So we have at least some semblance of a force to beat them back, hopefully, to repel them if we can. Okay, so we are number five in terms of production and households. Oh, okay, this is actually quite good, considering that the country was ravaged by the, you know, internal warfare... Pyrrhic invasion, Gallic invasion, and all the rest of it, and all this, you know, uh, manpower losses to Alexander, Alexander's um, conquests. Okay, let's end the turn here. Let's have a look what the Greeks going to do now. Okay, here we are. Yes, colonists again. Let's see. Is this Alexandros? No, Aribas. Okay. Now, what are the Greeks up to? Not much. Not much. Okay, they sitting tight, which is good enough. Good enough. I do not mind them sitting where they are. Retrain. Let's try and retrain some more men. 64. Can we send you for retraining here? Yes, we can. Excellent. Okay. This is pretty good. And what I'm going to do here, we're going to need to actually... I'm going to send this unit here. These two will be... Yes, move back here. And this is actually... I really like this. This is old style, you know, because you cannot... You do not have auto replenishment. I really enjoy this. This is like a mini game, game in itself. You know all this because logistics are really almost absent here in these games, unfortunately. So what you have here is this constant, uh, you know, uh, attempt to retrain, to rebuild, to bring your armies back to full strength, which is really, really good uh, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so let's see what else can we do here. Not much else. Okay, can we increase taxes anywhere at all? Yes, we can. There you go. Normal, because we really, really do need the money. Okay, that's all. That's 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 as far as we can push it. I don't think we can push it anymore. 
Now our uh, diplomat has finally reached. Romans are here again. Uh, has finally reached. Let's see if the Epirots are still at war with Rome. Ah, uh, yes, they are. Okay, excellent. So they have lots of enemies. Maybe they will be. Would you like? Very generous. Right. Trade rights. How about. Oh, I should have checked how much money they've got before actually asking this. Generous. Let's see. Oh, fantastic. This is good. Good news indeed. I'm very, very pleased. I got some money as well. Wow. Yeah, good. And we're trading with them too. I don't mind. This is good. I want to keep them where they are. I don't want to destroy them. Let them leave. Leave and let leave. Okay. So what we can do now is potentially actually... Can we retrain anyone else? No, we cannot retrain anybody here or here. Okay, let's see. Can I actually... Yeah, I'm going to. I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to merge some of these units here. Right, so Cretans. And potentially... Do I have a unit of Cretans here? No, I do not unfortunately have any. Can I bring some of these units for actually for... Yes, I can. Let's see if I can bring some of these units for retrain and retraining here. One and two. Can you, can you be recruited here, gents? And from here, I'm going to move Cretans here. Can I recruit you? Yeah, retrain you? Yes, I can. Okay, this unit we can move back because it's not retrainable, unfortunately. Uh, what we can do as well is move him away back to Demetrius to look after the city for us. Maybe we'll retrain him soon, soon enough as well, hopefully. And from here... Who else can we retrain here? Well, yeah, we can move this unit here too. Alright, excellent. There you go. Fantastic. Great news. We can actually, yes, maybe merge them this way. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake. Okay, can we retrain our hoplites? Uh, sorry, yes, we can. Okay, we're going to send both of these units to Demetrius. And we're going to try and retrain them both as well. Right, let's move this out. Let's get you. no, actually that's fine. Let's let's just leave it as it is. We are slightly outnumbered here though, so I'm a bit concerned. Who can we spare here? We can spare most of them actually. We can spare most of these units. Alright, let's go. Let's move this hoplite unit. This is what we actually need. Solid yes, and we can have no we cannot. Okay, we cannot without without them actually going nuts and you know uh, okay well okay let's see if they're not gonna rebel here again okay so we're done here let's end the turn and see what's going to happen here okay still we have the citizens here excellent okay uh, so Demetrius we have all of these troops have been recruited retrained sorry and hopefully I will be sending some men back to uh, Antigonus here. There you go. How is it doing, by the way? Oh, they're rationing now. This is not good. One, minus one morale. So his troops started to ration. ration. Corinthians as well. We have some troops here that have been retrained. Excellent news. Yes, but we're rationing here now. They still have five turns to go, unfortunately. And they keep on recruiting here. The mercenaries, they do have the money. So we will probably end up fighting this gonna be hopefully, I hope, one large massive battles, games and festivals. Alright, prizes are offered by far the greatest reward uh, reward is the respect. Alright, excellent. So we had it in Corinthus. Okay, what else can we do here? We are full stuck here. We're not entirely fully uh, replenished. So let's continue uh, retraining our men where we can. Okay, excellent. And this unit will have to come here. So we, yeah, I want to have a full stack properly, properly, uh, properly replenished if I can. Okay, until that day, we'll have to make do with what we've got here. Okay. So yeah, we basically now just waiting, just waiting for the uh, yeah for the city to fall, for Athens to fall. I'm not going to assault them. I haven't got the you know the, the stomach for it, or the numbers for it. Let's have a look. What else can we do here? Yeah, it's interesting because yeah, they enjoyed quite a you know good relations with Athens beforehand. 
Antigonus the one eyed, Antigonus Ganatas' grandfather, and Demetrius the besieger, his father, also had good relations until, of course, the tables turned and he lost uh, a battle of Ipsus, Antigonus the one eyed, alongside Demetrius. And then, yeah, what he was fam famous for, Antigonus um, the one eyed, is this policy of freedom for Greeks because he's the only one, he's the first from the, of the successors. Ptolemy, Seleucus, etc., who offered the f Greek cities unconditional freedom and promised not to garrison them with his own troops. So this was all uh, good and well until the Battle of Ipsus, where Antigonus the One Eye died, and Demetrius, when he fled back to Athens, he discovered that the city wasn't very happy about uh, taking him back, and he changed that, and uh, you know the garrisons become um, inner cities become you know just a part of life and, uh, you know, integral part of the, you know, uh, politics in Greece. And Antigonus Ganatas, of course, he continued and Demetrius's policy of garrisoning the cities because he also did not rely, okay, let's go with this for Macedonia, did not rely on a goodwill of the citizens of various Greek cities because when he came from Ipsus after the defeat, Athenians did not really like him because he was quite flamboyant. He did not really show much respect. He behaved, you know, like a king and Acropolis, throwing parties and, you know, very high-handedly, etc., etc. So basically, Antigonus and Demetrius, they resorted to this policy of stationing troops, garrisoning the, and sort of depriving the free Greek cities of their freedom okay 270 uh, BC we slightly behind the schedule so there's nothing here that concerns us directly it would seem that is fine okay phalangites this is light uh, phalanx unit they finished retraining which is fabulous oh yes and more uh, slots opened for retraining because it's winter of course let's see is there anyone else that needs retraining anyone else at all let's see if if Antigo uh, Antigonus has anyone that needs retraining, anyone here I can actually retrain. Okay, anyone from his army could be sent there. No, he's got these units, but I don't think they can be retrained in those settlements, unfortunately. Hippies, maybe? No. Okay. Alright, so nothing here that we can actually uh, retrain, unfortunately. So we're going to keep this force in the field. Okay, what else do we have? Lopoditis, uh, Craterus, personal security, reduction in tax revenues, unfortunately. Okay, so this is one of our... Uh, is he a family member, actually? Because he was... Uh, let me see, where is it? Yes, yes, he is. Yes, half-brother. Yes, okay, excellent. And this is the Demetrius that will be the next king. And unfortunately, Alcyoneus will die. We do not know. Sh we do not know exactly where and how he died, but he would die in one of his father's battles somehow, somewhere. Phila died. Oh, Phila died? Oh god, this is not good. Phila is Antigonus's... Where is she? Where is Phila? Phila is Antigonus's... Uh, yeah, she was half-sister of Antiochus of Seleucid Empire. She was his uh, wife. This is how the alliance with uh, Seleucids was sealed, on the basis of this marriage. So I hope I hope our relations with uh, Seleucids will not get you know sour. Okay, let's see. So we're making a bit of money now, which is great, which is really really good. We're in a positive here now. Is this still rationing? I hope it did not deteriorate. Pella reclaimed, winter campaigning. Yes, still minus one. Okay, we can live with that. Let's go. How many turns? Three turns to go. And let's send our diplomat here. Okay. Fantastic. So the good thing is, and I'm quite happy to say that, the Greeks have sent a small reinforcing ar army to uh, Athens. They have their own fleet here, raiding fleet. We won't be able to challenge them because we also have a raiding fleet, but ours is of course much depleted. So if they actually attack, there's a good chance they will de de destroy our fleet. I hope they won't, we shall see. And we have two more seasons. If we can just last these two more seasons, we should be fine. But they bring in reinforcements in. They keep on recruiting here. So it will be very, very tough. Very tough indeed. Let's see. We cannot see any traits here, unfortunately. Can we see any traits on this gentleman? No. 
Because I wonder if they are rationing as well. No, we can't see. I have a spy actually here somewhere. Let's see. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. No, I still cannot see the traits, unfortunately. I cannot see them. And his uh, 76 his Spartans he's got now, which is a bit of a trouble. Very concerning. And what he recruited is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. This is what I was afraid of. Macedonia. Okay, we don't have the money. And we're going to leave it now. We're going to leave it. Okay, we're going to leave this for now. The recruitment. Demetrius. Okay, excellent. So this has all been recruited. We need potentially to start thinking about sending down some strong men. Let's get this Galatians out of here. They're under strength. Let's bring this unit down. Okay. And we mostly, mostly all of our, all of our units are now full strength. Okay, we can also use what I'm going to do. Send this unit of cavalry away. And I'm going to bring this unit of uh, Peltest also under strength. So we're going to use all these mercenaries that we can. And in my towns, what I want to have is mostly either badly demolished and uh, badly depleted mercenaries. Or I would like to have... Uh, levies etc or native units as well okay oh actually we can use potentially use this unit here as well also to send it down yeah let's do that let's bring this unit down and we can potentially merge them actually oh what is that Demetrius came of age already oh where oh no this is another Demetrius this is a Demetrius son of Polarchites okay this is good so we're going to potentially, uh, yes, because we have this, so potential successor is going to be Demetrius now. This was my mistake I previously made. It's not about actual successor, it's about a potential successor next in line person. And with him, actually, I want to bring him, yeah, I want to bring him forward. Let's see, I'm going to get all of these men and I'm going to place them all in this city here. Okay, and all of these units, not this one, will leave him. Oh, I can't move them anywhere. Okay, let's bring this cavalry unit here instead. Let's bring this unit here. Can we retrain them? Yes. Okay, and if I remove him, uh, okay, let's well, let's reduce the taxes a little. Okay, because yeah, I wanna bring him to help help Antigonus hopefully here. This unit can also go go here and this is going to be our cavalry unit and he's destined to die so to speak anyway so i'm not too bothered about losing him because we need cavalry we have two light units and they have one two three here four here also light and you know you have more sitting in the city so lots of cavalry to deal with okay how many turns now two turns still to go okay fantastic mentor okay Coming of age, we're gonna leave him there to hopefully attend the school if there is one, which I'm not sure there is because of a you know a ravaged state of this place. Oh no, there is no. There's a field of games. Okay, no, there isn't one. Okay, we can't repair anything. Let's just quickly run down. Okay, we start. We can start building in here something actually. Okay, no worries, not to worry. Uh, yeah, let's leave it all as it is for now. Okay. Now, diplomat, we're going to dispatch himself, and after that, we're going to just... Oh, there are the Romans. Okay. Trade. Excellent. Map. No. Give us to... Why would I do that? No, no, it's okay. It's okay, friends. I'm not desperate uh, by any means. Okay. All right, let's go back to where, where we came from. And let's see. Okay, I think this is it. This is the last, last turn now. Yeah, last season. Let's see how is our great leader, Antigonus, doing. Is he now? Yes, yeah, still rationing. Still only minus one morale, which is okay. I'm not too bothered. Uh, so the last, last uh, turn, I think. And then after that, what will happen is... Um, I think the Athens is going to sell it out. They will sell it out, I think. Let's just replace this unit let's bring them away as a, and i don't want this under strength unit what we can do though 
his brain these two fellas here yes uh, instead of this elite units which are badly mauled I'm going to try and bring down the full strength more or less regular units let's see how that's going to play out so phalanx okay we all uh, yeah we all here we have yeah we have some skirmishes and the rest are uh, skirmishing and uh, the rest are the infantry and you know a couple of units of cavalry potential successor yeah great can we repair anything no we don't have the money yet okay excellent so i think i'm going to start bringing my oh wow the romans are really going for it aren't they okay wow they are really really massively rapidly uh, actually uh, expanding north i'm going to bring the uh, bring the diplomat back so that we can have uh, some trade relations with others maybe seal peace with the ptolemies after this affair because they were really really behind this pyrrhic intrusion they actually uh, financed financed him twice once on his way to italy and once when he came back and started to meddle with the Antigonus and Macedonian affairs, it was all also bought by uh, Ptolemaic um, uh, gold, obviously. Okay, 95. All right. Now, I think the next turn we're going to have to fight. Let me just save because I have some crashes sometimes. Just quick save. Okay, and I think, I think this is it. This is the final fireworks battle, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's go. yes there they come here they come they all sally forth for the massive force these are the small reinforcements that have arrived by boat i'm very actually glad they didn't attack my navy because i don't have much there in terms of navy they would definitely destroy it okay they all under strength okay great and here oh wow they recruited even more men so many cavalry units this is real pain archers cretans uh well, okay, fingers crossed. Let's go. Okay, so we have deployed. So what we have done, we have um, phalanx here, uh, Sarissa phalanx, the alternating. So we have light and medium, and then, sorry, we have medium, light, and medium, light. And then we have on the flanks, we have traveling Troy and medium infantry flanked by um, the uh, spearmen same here here on the flank i positioned this heavy infantry with the javelins as well the second line we have one unit of hoplitae here as a backup another one here and this one in the center just in case we will need the support this is our galatians they are uh, the cavalry unit that we have the skirmish the only skirmish cavalry we have so we have our uh, archers obviously up front here so th th this is where they are and Antigonus and he you know his son and his hippies are on this side on the right wing so we're just waiting for them now to make a move let's see okay this is their cavalry also skirmishing cavalry I believe so we don't want to get too involved here so I'm going to just exchange fire oh we're already taking damage and I want them to yeah to withdraw I don't want them to be get, getting bogged down. They're not very good, not that great, unfortunately, this unit. And yeah, so they're already 98. Yeah, okay, so we're going to probably just bring them around and keep them as a reserve. They're not very reliable, I'm afraid. Okay, our archers now started to opening fires and they are now a target of enemy cavalry. So perhaps I'll just move them back here. All right, real quickly go 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 no they won't make it are they they're not yes oh gosh uh, that's unfortunate Cretans now been subject to an attack okay right let's see can we pull them back still all right let's just enable fire at will because they come in too close now these rascals and uh, without any repercussions and we do not want that okay so yeah, we have like a purely defensive sort of stance because I don't have much in terms of mobility, unfortunately. So I will have to rely because they have a you know advantage in cavalry. They have many more cavalry than we do. So let's see. All right, where is our unit of cavalry here? Okay, so we might need to start moving 
Yes, somewhat, somewhat forward a little bit with our phalanx pikemen. Okay, this is good. Oh, we routed their cavalry already. This is good. This is really, really good. Although they have more cavalry, of course, here. We have a bit of a reserve here as well. Let's bring them here down to bear on this unit of cavalry. If we can um, get rid of their cavalry, kind of, uh, you know, disarm them that way, then the rest should follow. Because what I'm really concerned about is their mobility. Their, uh, yeah, they have very, very uh, few, well, we have few. Oh, there's another army approaching. Okay, so perhaps I think it's time we actually made a move and we perhaps try and destroy this force before another one has arrived oh this is the Spartans okay this is the famous Spartans and we ran uh, into the spearmen it seems here okay yes some sort of spearmen unit all right okay let's see who do we have here all right this is their unit of pikes okay this is another cavalry unit are we going to try now and where is our hippies okay hippies are yeah let's them bring and bring them down to bear on this unit as well okay these guys are now oh where are you going no 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 come here uh -huh. i'll have to deploy my reserve phalan phalanx is that right maybe not let's see let's move you as well all right so we're doing okay we're just going to yeah route this unit and now Antigone is gonna come back and hit them is this the Spartans no this is some sort of a yes uh, unit of archers well this should be easy enough to deal with okay let's bring them down on this infantry okay what's happening here now so we've routed them it seems yes there's a couple of units here that refuse to surrender but the rest I think is okay we're doing okay in terms of yeah let's let's just chase this cavalry unit here all right so what's happening here so we've routed this unit yeah these are the Spartans obviously do what the Spartans do best so we're not gonna let them uh you know have too much freedom there all right excellent excellent so now our horsemen are being chased let's bring them back here all right archers i want you to target this unit here and you if you can reach it if you can reach it let's just bring you forward slightly and i'm gonna give you commands i don't want you to just do anything without me okay so we dealt with these units let's move Antigonus away from here excellent all right Spartans hopefully they won't last too long they just now been jumped here between our all right okay they bring in the cavalry no they don't okay let's get these two units into position here all right so they have brought something here is that cavalry units it seems okay and this is toxotai this is what we're going to target here excellent all right let's target this fallen giant unit all right excellent so we've routed them here as well and this is pretty good okay who is this now let's just yeah let's let's attack this unit here okay they attempt now to bring their cavalry upon us well, we'll deal with it we'll deal with it promptly we have spearmen here for this very reason on the flanks okay let's just yeah let's just hit this unit here okay let's move you forward all right excellent oh this is just skirmishes okay let's give it a cry battle cry now what's happening here who is this all right this is some light cavalry they bring in there to bear okay so yeah it's getting a bit messy now getting a little bit messy here all right but we managed now antigonus managed to route this unit 
Now there's one more unit of cavalry left standing here. Hopefully we'll deal with them soon enough. Alright, and we are peppering this unit of phalangites, which is quite nice. Where we've been attacked, our kills have been attacked here. We still have one more unit here that I think I'm gonna need to start bringing forward here. And we're taking some heavy, heavy damage here. So our left wing is now in trouble. Okay, Antigonus. Alright, so this has been routed. Okay, excellent. Alright, let's see. Let's target this unit, all of us. Alright, fantastic. Let's bring Antigonus back upon this unit. And here, how are we doing? The Spartans are just... Yeah, just quite annoying, aren't they? Okay. Okay, so this has been routed. That's excellent. Okay, let's get Antigonus out of there. Alright, this is this is our infantry unit. I'm gonna bring them forward. I'm gonna bring Antigonus here as well. And I wonder what I want to do now is yes, hit this unit in the flank, hopefully. Alright, we're in trouble here on the left flank though. We are in deep trouble there, unfortunately. We're going to send, I think, our archers now. The Cretans will have to go there as well. And join the fight on the left flank here. All right, let's go. Where is Antigonus? All right, let's let's just see. Yeah, who is this? All right, let's let's encircle this unit here. Yes, Antigonus needs to get out of there actually, because what we have here is a problem with these units, who are actually yes, encircling some of our units here. So because we're encircling the Spartans, yet we ourselves been encircled here. Which is quite unfortunate. Alright, someone fell. Enemy general. Okay, oh, well, thank god. I thought it was one of ours. I was a bit worried now for a sec. Oh, okay, so they have now started to rout. Because of this, I think. Alright, let's attack this unit if we can. Now, what's happening here? Okay. Alright, let's send our Tuxatai here. And let's send... No, this is going to be okay. Let's send this unit here as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, this flank is going to collapse in a moment. So let's send the Cretans this way. And this unit to support the cavalry there. Okay, excellent. So we have full control here of most of the battlefield. If not all of it. This is good. Alright, so it's just the left wing here that causes a bit of a trouble. We still have some reserves. I'm going to dispatch now to tackle this unit here. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this is all a routing now, the entire wing. Who is this? Oh yes, is this another unit of Spart- No, this is not Spartans, this is Elite, I think, Hoplites. So we're going to need to get Antigonus out of there. We're going to urgently need to get him out of there. What I can do though, before he gets here, is withdraw this unit. And yeah. There you go. Now what's happening here? Oh yes, we still have a bit of an issue with this unit on the side here. Alright, fantastic. Right, let's see. Let's go. Well, uh, unit routes, unit routes. Uh, some of the units routing. Okay, this is we. Oh, this is one of their general units. Okay, so we encircle them from both sides now, which is good. So we are placing our phalanx upon this unit here. Okay, excellent. So we are starting to. Yeah, we need to salvage the situation here really, really rapidly. Look, there's only one unit of uh, of archers. They're fending for themselves. This is not going to last, is it? Ten units of elite <sighs> elite uh, spearmen at least elite, elite uh, hoplites okay so we need to urgently yeah, let's hit this flank here if we can let's hit them real hard let's move this unit here this unit here because our left flank is about to collapse okay let's go 
let's go 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 right where is our uh, cavalry enemy general so the second enemy general has fallen Androcles is still alive oh, sorry Antigonus is still alive yes okay excellent let's go 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 I want you to target I want you to target please this unit here yes okay no this is all routers we don't need them we're not interested there's one unit here of, Ho of hopefully tie there's still around still trying to maneuver which isn't something that we want and there is one more unit of I think it's another general unit and they're just massacring our massacring our archers here oh yes 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 there is still some room here Antigonus will need to be moved out of there because what we have here is yes these two units we're moving phalanx here slowly into position okay there is this unit of general bodyguard has been surrounded down to 35 men refuses to surrender all uh, right let's see okay so they they flee now okay excellent we need to hit these guys in the rear and uh, yeah i'm gonna bring antigonus there as well and here all right let's see let's hit them all right excellent 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 and where is our faction leader all right yes let's raise the morale of our men now here we're still in trouble we bring in a couple of units we did bring oh no that's good they they gone now as well all right excellent what else do we have here what else do we need to bother enemy general so three of their generals now being killed they have many more however they have many many more and that is the problem that is a bit of a problem because uh they had three or four in the city there's one outside so there's a four and four or five i think altogether, if i'm not mistaken okay so we're chasing him ah there's still no this unit is gone who is still fighting there's still some fight going on somewhere i think that's why we did not the battle hasn't finished yet right where is it where is the fight Oh, here is something here this unit is uh, trying to flee for the hills okay who do we have here to position them to bring them upon this unit okay let's see okay let's yeah let's let, well come this way then in uh, onto our pikes oh there you go victory okay excellent I'm going to chase them route them and then come back okay here we are we have a heroic victory here overall yeah roughly the same amount of men of bo on both sides of course we had the advantage of our force being combined we killed one two three four i think all of their generals have been killed so uh antigonus uh, and uh, his son uh, and heir both have two plus epochorion minus one i think they uh, lost a lot of men so we have yeah some more experience here hopefully tie etc so we won heroic victory let's i'm very curious to see what's going to happen now on the campaign map because this is it this is what we wanted all along get the athens on our side okay so we have captured two family members quite expensive fellas thousand each and it's two i don't think they can afford that can they rejected yeah obviously oh! Okay, we have, we have captured Athens. We're going to punish these treacherous Athenians. We're going to sack the city to uh, punish them for switching sides, for fighting against us. Let's go. Because, yeah, actually, uh, they've even invited Pyrrhus at one point to come, to come and aid uh, against Demetrius Polarchites and have actually erected statue to Pyrrhus in the city for his efforts. Okay, this means war. With the capture of Athens, the race for control of Hellas is truly begun. The Antigonidae and Epirotae cannot both be masters, meaning only one outcome is possible. War. Are we at war again now? Civil unrest. General, we have captured the capital of our enemies, and thus there might be some uh, turmoil while the transition of power takes place. Okay? 
Are we now at war again? Yes. All right. They are now allies. Okay. Koinon, Helenon, and Epiros. And Epiros declared war on us, which is okay. All right. Antigonus Ganatas enemy a camp captured. And there is a child being born, is it? New family member. To who? Because Phila has died from what I heard last time. Where is this child? Oh, yes. It's born to Craterus, it seems. Okay, excellent. All right. So I think this is it. This is it. We're done. We're done here. We pretty much finished what we started to do. What we've set to do. Okay, so we have full control now of all of Greece. We have, uh, you know, uh, Athens is uh, has been, you know, taken over. And let's just destroy this one last unit real quick. Okay, oh, they buggers, they managed to flee somewhere. Still, oh well, okay. So yes, we have full control of everything here. We are now total masters, and this is what I want to do territorially, politically, militarily. I think we are now on a very secure footing here to kind of, you know, to say that, yes, we've achieved re-establishment. We are running, well, a couple of years behind the schedule. 271 to 60 to 70 so yeah we done it okay so we're masters of hellas antigonus has been restored in power because he ruled from 277 to about 240 274 when pyrrhus got intervened came from italy and kind of you know uh driven him out of macedonia so he ruled for a few years there now his power has been restored and he's got control of all of the little monarchies here he was actually also fighting establishment of the Achaean League here because he didn't like the idea obviously so he's got allies and friends all over Peloponnesus and the rest of Greece is his apart from Epirus which we're not gonna you know meddle with so I'm going to place the save save to this game in the description uh, I'm gonna place the link for to download it if you would like to take it for a spin conquer the world with Antigonus or do whatever Please help yourself. It's going to be based on 2.35 Europa Barbarorum 2. Thanks a lot for watching. Please read, 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 read. If you play Europa Barbarorum, read the history. There are in the description, there are links to history of Macedonia specifically. Some of them are social history, some of them general history, some of them military history. But it's all about Macedonia. Really good books. I've collected several books there. Have a read. And yeah. Thanks for watching and this was uh, yeah my first playthrough with the Europa Barbarorum it was really lots of fun uh, you know getting back into this game it was really fun and uh, you know lots of memories lots of things I had to you know to remember recall and relearn so thanks a lot for watching I'll do maybe some more let's plays uh, based on Europa Barbarorum maybe battles or maybe some other faction that I can fit within my historical gameplay narrative thanks a lot for watching subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of this and I'll see you in the next series. Take care.